Good afternoon. Phil Lindemann with your news from Avalanche Physical Therapy on Crystal 93. Year after year, this second weekend in May is one of the slowest on I-70. Just over 94,500 cars traveled the tunnels Friday through Sunday, the quietest weekend in exactly one year. This same weekend last year hit 91,000 cars. 2020 was an outlier with weeks of below average traffic. In 2019, this was the second slowest weekend of the year. Winds are blowing 50 to 60 miles per hour in Breckenridge today, cranking up to 96 miles per hour at the Peak 8 Summit around lunchtime. It was gusting over 100 before sunup. A basin summit hit 70. The crystallized weather station in Dillon clocked 35 miles per hour. Loveland closed for the season yesterday, and what remains of chairlift terrain is shrinking fast. Peak 8 base area at Breckenridge is now closed. You can still get to Imperial Chair when it's running from Peak 7 and T-Bar. Yesterday was closing day for Poly Chair at A Basin. Montezuma Bowl and the Beavers are also closed. The Dillon ice melt device fell into the lake over the weekend, and Crystal listener Stacy says she saw it happen. She's estimating it fell on Saturday, May 7th at 5.17 p.m. No official time yet. Summit Rotary still needs to retrieve the device. Stay tuned. First place gets $4,000. Summit School Board meets with teachers tomorrow for contract negotiations and what could be their second pay raise in two years. District teachers started at $48,500 this year, $4,000 more than last school year. The district hopes to hit $50,000 by 2023. Meanwhile, teachers in Eagle County are fighting for the same 50 k benchmark, and they are slower to get there. They started at $45,000 this year. We were at Summit Panorama Orthopedics today in Frisco, where orthopedic surgeon Rita Baumgartner has seen it all including this sneaky little ski injury. What's called a skier's thumb, uh, which is a tear of the ulnar collateral ligament of the thumb. Um, somebody sticks their ski pole down hard, it really brings the thumb over to the side and can tear that ligament. A clean bone break is the best outcome. Just six weeks in a brace, no surgery required. But if the bone does not break... If it's just a ligamentous tear, uh, those don't heal well without surgery. So we're typically taking them to surgery and, again, about six weeks of pretty light activity while we wait for that repair to heal. It can happen to mountain bikers and boaters too. Baumgartner says May is prime time to fix those nagging injuries before they derail your entire summer. Carpal tunnel syndrome, so numbness and tingling in the fingers, sometimes tendonitis in the thumb, uh, trigger fingers when the digits are catching. So definitely mud season is the time people want to come in and get their injuries sorted out so they can take that time off and then get to their summer sports. In sports, the Avalanche hope to sweep the Predators tonight in Game 4 of the opening playoff series, 7.30 on ESPN. The Rockies face the Giants at 7.45. And in local sports, brought to you by Red Mountain Autos at their new location in Breckenridge. Third running of the Neverland Bank Slalom came to Loveland Saturday for snow borders only, where Dylan Baidez was fastest overall at 40.1 seconds. Less than one second behind him were Benjamin Berberick and Kobe Harloff in second and third. Sabrina St. Marie took the women's title in 44-7, claiming the age division crowns were Milo Pierre, Adian Rowell, Michael Snow, Emma Hyen, and Marcy Nierhoff. Tigers track and field athletes Cam Fox and Ella Hagen are league champions for 110-meter hurdles and 3,200-meter run. They claimed first at the league meet in rifle over the weekend. But endurance coach Mike Hagen is just as impressed with senior Lucas Sudoth, a first-timer on the track team and the only senior running distance. You know, his rapid advancement and learning how to train and compete has been so significant that he made a nine-second personal record in the 800-meter run at the league championship. Nine seconds is, you know, incredible. That was good enough for 12th in the 800-meter. The Tigers have one more regular season meet before state coming up Friday in Longmont. Tomorrow, Summit High Baseball is tentatively scheduled to play their first home game in Frisco, hosting Basalt. Phil Lindemann with your news from Avalanche Physical Therapy on Crystal 93.